Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very popular question I've been getting on the channel. We've got a ton of questions about the caps lock and why the caps lock key is not lighting up or if certain keys are not lighting up. So as you can see on the screen right now, I created a custom profile that actually has this kind of already set up with a caps lock key not lit up and a couple other keys that are not lit up. And so I've been, like I said, I've been getting a ton of questions about this. So I'm going to easily answer it for you right now. And before we begin, guys, I do want to just go ahead and ask if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any other questions about this keyboard, the Ducky 1-2 Mini 60% keyboard, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer it. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'll be answering the question of why is the caps lock key not lit up? And why are a couple other keys not lit up like the UI and JK keys when I have the entire keyboard already backlit blue? Well, a lot of people like to just mess with their customizations when they get the keyboard if they don't have the manual. So what you might have done is actually made a custom profile for your LEDs. And this is what happens after you do this. So what I'm going to show you is the reason why this happens is when you go ahead and you customize your your profiles, you have two different profiles that have come up on G or B. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down FN, Alt, and Caps Lock for a couple seconds here. And you're gonna see that G and B light up. So for this profile, this was my B profile. So now you'll see exactly what I'm seeing, except you're gonna see the Caps Lock key show up. So the reason that is, is because this Caps Lock key is gonna show you exactly what color that you're selecting right now. So I have it all blue. So this is the exact blue that every other key is. So if I hit U, you notice how they light up now and if i don't want them lit up i press them again and they go off now if i want to go ahead and light up a different color what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down the caps lock key and you're going to see that the different uh, rgbs light up here so i want to change it to the green you're going to see you watch the caps lock key you're going to see it change as i'm as i'm pressing the x key to change it to more green the z key to change it to more red so i'm going to actually change it to like uh let's see let's let's go more orange here or a red there we go so now I let go you're gonna see that this is now the color that's gonna light up when I press my keys so UI JK are now lit up to this color if I want let's see 789 to go to the red I have to press them to disable press them to light up the new color all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go back to the blue So now that I have the blue selected, I'm gonna actually go ahead and light up all the colors. So they may be just a little bit off there. Um, I believe I could hit the space bar, the caps lock space bar, and you'll see the palette that I have. So um, you could do this another way and it's just a little bit easier. So then I'll just hit eight and that's the blue that I want. So then, yeah, I'm just gonna make it the blue color that I have here. So with that being said, once you're done with the recording, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hold caps lock and left shift when you're done recording. Right, that is the recording over. Now you have what you want. And you'll notice now that the caps lock key has now changed to off. And I'm actually noticing right now that I actually hit FN and Alt off as well when I was trying to do um, the color palette earlier. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go back really quickly. I'm gonna start the recording now. And we're gonna go to B. I'm on blue, as you can see the caps lock is blue. I'm gonna select Alt and FN. And then what I'm gonna do is caps lock and left shift and the recording and you'll know because the caps lock key is, is off now. But a lot of people are asking, how do I get the caps lock key to turn on so that I have it as this color blue? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, B again, which is gonna turn this profile mode into a breathing mode, but I'm gonna hit it again and that's gonna turn it off. So now what you wanna do is FN Alt T and this is gonna turn on your preset modes. And I have other videos that show you how to go through these preset modes. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do FN Alt Space Bar to bring up my color palette. I'm going to hit the 8 key. And now this is this is very close to the blue color, or if not the blue color that I have on my custom profile. So now it looks like my custom profile. But, in, but now the caps lock key is lit up. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up the B profile again. And I'm going to make a couple different edits here. To white I'm just gonna make this whole top row at least the QWERTY keys I'm gonna change them to white and then I'm gonna finish the recording so now what you're seeing here is not my B but instead now it's my B 
and you're seeing the caps lock key lit up. Now again, you want to hit it. This is your B mode and it's going to go into a breathing mode. So you'll see the light slowly dim off and then the light slowly dim on. The only problem is this caps lock key is with the, uh, I left it on the, the solid color mode. So you're going to notice that this stays on during the breathing mode on this. So if you did want to change it, you would have to just, you would have to change it so that the background mode is breathing. So again, you would select it so that it's off. Now you're on your preset modes, so you would want to change it so that it's on a breathing mode. So for example, if I did this and I turn on my B, you're going to see that my caps lock, I think this is the best way to explain it. You're going to see that my caps lock key is still the rainbow. So when you turn on your profile mode, this actually overlays over your preset modes, as you can see. So again, I tried to just break it down to, uh, you know, as simply as I possibly could, um, just trying to explain it. And if you guys have any questions about this, please just leave a comment down below. And I really quickly just want to say again, the custom profile mode overlays over whatever your presets are. So if you, again, turn off your custom profile mode and you turn off your presets, so you have no presets on, your keyboard is completely off, and you turn on your profile mode, the caps lock key will be off. The caps lock key only changes based on your preset modes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Drop a like if you can. It'll really help the video and I'll see you in the next one.